If you think about how companies used to be, the rise of the corporation, the rise of bureaucracy, we built large companies and systems to support those companies that assumed you'd only have to work with one or two other people. You don't generally have to work with hundreds of other people. We aren't all in one building. The talent doesn't all live in one city or one country or one continent. Talent is wherever it is. And increasingly, companies have to work across geographical boundaries. So many people have been complaining about the complexity, the hard to use, the pricing, the difficulty of integrating their solutions that we saw building on our search technology and the platform that we built over the many years we've been around, an opportunity to build a new kind of application, a Google app. And this Google app is all about sharing, all about collaboration, and does things powerfully, but still very simply. And what's interesting about our Google application strategy, Google Apps, is it works for us too, even at our scale. Our growth is being largely enabled by our ability to rapidly form and disband teams as projects come and go. We're using Google Apps at the center of those teams as they form and as they dissipate. We have a whole project called Dog Food, where we literally eat our own dog food. And the important thing is we use Google Apps throughout the life cycle of Google. We use the word processing and spreadsheet, the calendar functions. Obviously, we use Gmail and many of the other components of Google Apps. We decided to move Google from its previous calendaring system and email systems over to Google Apps in a ridiculously short period of time. We decided to do it in a couple of months. Now, normally, this would be a multi-year project because you'd have to retrain all your users, and there's all kinds of magic that has to happen to get your users ready to go to the new product. However, Google Apps looks just like the version of Google Calendar that you can get to as a regular consumer. We built these applications with consumers in mind. It turns out that because the business solution looks like the consumer solution, you've already got a lot of people trained. A lot of people use these tools already. I didn't have to retrain them. So by moving to Google Apps, our customers can repurpose those talented engineers who currently are running email onto a problem which is closer to the core of their business. Everything is integrated around search. You don't have to remember whether this was an email or a chat or a document that you stored on a thumb drive. None of that matters. Our employees simply have to search for things, and everyone understands search. The hardest thing to build are million user consumer applications, because the consumers will not tolerate any kind of downtime. So we've taken that kind of scalability to build bulletproof, large-scale enterprise applications. All of our internal applications that we use to run the company for our, em our employees are on exactly the same servers and exactly the same data centers as anyone in the world. This means that every bug fix, every change, is seen both internally and externally as quickly as possible. Consumers are increasingly aware of information security. They might be aware of that because of phishing on the internet or credit card fraud or any number of other reasons. These consumers demand high security in their applications. Those demands led us to build strong enterprise-grade security into our consumer products, into Gmail, into Google Calendar, into all of those. That means the Google Apps already have enterprise-grade security built into them. It's incredibly important for end user and company data to be secure at Google. People will not trust us unless we keep it secure, and therefore we will. We believe that people will be most efficient if you allow them different kinds of technology. They can use the technology that serves them best. But you know what turns out. You know what happens. It turns out everyone chooses Google Apps. Everyone chooses Google Apps because it's so flexible and so tightly integrated and so easy to use that it allows them to focus their creativity elsewhere. I still have choice, not control. It just turns out that everyone's choosing the same thing.